So let's get down to business and we start with the exclusive interview that took place in San Francisco between Elon Musk and our technology correspondent James Clayton. It is one of his first interviews since he bought Twitter for 44 billion dollars. He defended his decision to lay off a massive number of staff, saying that Twitter only had four months to live unless drastic measures were taken. In, in the rough numbers, uh, revenue dropped from four and a half billion to three, um, uh, and um, expenses went from four and a half to six, creating a three billion dollar negative cash flow situation, um, and Twitter having a billion dollars in the bank. That's four months to live. So unless drastic action was taken immediately, this company is going to die and be owned well, by the banks. Let, let's talk about that drastic action because almost immediately um, you sacked a lot of Twitter workers. Um, yeah. And, and, and look, I, I spoke to them. It was very easy to speak to them uh, when it happened. And, and, and the way they said, mm -hmm. pretty much everyone said, is, is that it felt quite haphazard. It was. And it felt a little bit uncaring. Do you, do you, do uh, you, do I wouldn't you, say uncaring. The, 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 you know, the issue is like, uh, the, the company's either going to go bankrupt uh, or if, if we do not cut costs immediately. Um, this is not a, a caring, uncaring situation. It's like if the whole ship sinks, then nobody's going to drop. Right. Yeah. But, but a lot of people just lost their jobs like that. Um, and and, and the, they, weren't, well, what, they didn't what, even know they would, they would, they'd lost their jobs often. They, just, okay. were, just, they were just frozen so out of you, their accounts. What would you do? Well, you might want to give someone some notice. I mean, you might. It's, by the way, I, I'm not running Twitter, but, I know, but this, is, this is the criticism, and this is what actual this is what I staff understand. members but, say. A but, little bit of notice, uh, you know. No, I understand. If you have four months to live, 120 days. In 120 days, you're dead. So how? So what do you want to do? How much are you worth? I don't know. But you, I mean, we're talking about around the 200 billion dollar mark. I mean, it's not no. quite. You're framing it in in a way that that you know. That it had a, had a few months to live. You're quite a rich man. Um, I sold a, a lot of Tesla stock to close this deal. I did not want to sell a Tesla stock. In what was quite a lengthy interview, Elon Musk also said he is confident that the social media platform Twitter will become profitable again and advertisers will return. Let's have a listen to this. In terms of advertising, obviously it's, the Twitter's not a private company anymore, so we don't really know how, how, it's, how it's all going. Have all the advertisers come back? Uh, not all, but most. And it, I mean, it, you can see it for yourself on Twitter, even in the For You feed. Right. I mean, in the, sorry, following. In the following Actually, feed. don't use For You because it sucks. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> it's um, filled with hate speech, I'm told. Um, that's not what I said. Okay, fine. Uh, well, why don't you use For You? What's wrong with it? Um, how is it going? Is, is Twitter in profit now? No, Twitter is uh, uh, rough. I'd say we're, we're roughly break even at this point. And I think you've said before you, you, see, a, you see a world where you could be in profit. Is there a timeline on that, do you think? I mean, I, depending on how things go, if current trends continue, I think we could be profitable. Or, I mean, pro, pro, I'd say, to be more precise, we could be cash flow positive. Uh, this quarter, if things keep going well. This quarter, as soon as that? I, I possibly, yeah. Wow. Um, and do you have a message for the advertisers? I mean, can you say which advertisers haven't come back? Um, I, think, I think almost all of them have, have either come back or said they're going to come back. There are very few exceptions. Can you say, say any of the exceptions? Um, I actually don't know of anyone who said definitively they're not coming back. They're all sort of trending towards coming back. But there are some that just I haven't. Jump in, the water's warm, it's great. That's, that's your message to the, to the advertisers who haven't come back? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you know, if, 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 if Disney feels comfortable um, advertising you know, children's movies and Apple feels comfortable advertising iPhones, those are good indicators that Twitter is um, a good place to advertise. Um, I want to talk about if you have any regret, regrets. And, and, you know, I think you, you were booed at a Dave Chappelle concert. I think your own lawyer said... A little. Said, a little. A li well, some say a little, some say a bit more. Um, I, I think your own lawyer said you couldn't get a fair trial in San Francisco because there are lots of people that, that don't necessarily like you here. Yeah, but, the, I, you know, I have to say, I, I was wrong. He was wrong, I guess. The, 
Uh, because um, I was acquitted uh, by the San Francisco jury unanimously. So, yeah. But, but I guess, but look, do, do, know, do, do you have any regrets about buying Twitter? Um, I think it was something that uh, needed to be done. Um, I mean, you said, you, you said earlier that you... It's quite difficult, you know. It's, uh, I'd say, the, like, the, the pain level of Twitter has been extremely high. Um, this hasn't been some sort of party. Um, so uh, it's been really quite a stressful situation, uh, you know, for the last several months. Not, not an easy one. I, I, um, I was... But apart from the pain, I mean, so it's been quite painful. Um, but I think uh, at the end of the day, it, it, it should have been done. I think. I, were there many mistakes made along the way? Of course, I'm, you know. Um, and uh, but uh, you know, all's well that ends well. And so I, I, I feel like uh, we're headed uh, to a good place. Um, you know, we're roughly break even. I think we're trending towards being cash flow positive very soon, like literally in a matter of of, of months. Um, the advertisers are returning. Um, the, I think the quality of recommended tweets has improved significantly, and we've taken a lot of feedback from uh, people that have looked at the open source recommendation algorithm, and we've, we've made a lot of improvements even, even since that was uh, made open source, and we're going to keep doing that. So overall, I think the trend is uh, very good. So. Well, let's unpack this further with our business reporter, Joao De Silva, who joins us from our bureau in Singapore. Joao, it was an extraordinary conversation. You and I were both watching it live. You in our bureau in Singapore, me in the studio here in London. Um, he, he, he had so much to say about so many things, uh, but when it comes to Twitter itself and the business, he does sound confident. He, he is telling us all, we'll be back in profit soon and advertisers will be back. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But Elon Musk did sound very a bit in that interview. He talked about daily usage being up. And yes, the company finally breaking even now that, according to him, advertisers are back. He told James at one point how the situation was bleak when he first took over, accused the previous management of running it as a non-profit, saying that the company had only, in his own words, a few months to live. And he said that, like other internet companies, Twitter was facing a massive drop in revenue. All of that to justify, of course, those controversial uh, mass layoffs that we saw at Twitter earlier this year. He admitted that the headcount uh, has gone from 8,000 to 1,500 under his leadership. The thing is, many analysts are saying that that, that mad medicine might actually be the poison that's uh, hurting Twitter. Many people in the content moderation team have been fired, and advertisers fear that, incre that increase the likelihood uh, that their products will appear next to toxic content on the platform. And we do know that that major advertisers like Volkswagen, like General Motors, did, pa did pause uh, their relationship with Twitter earlier this year. So we'll have to really wait and see whether indeed Musk has reason uh, to be optimistic about Twitter's future. Okay, Joe, thank you very much. Joe de Silva in Singapore. Just to say online, you can see and read uh, more about that exclusive interview. You can listen and watch at your leisure as and wish. Uh, so that's BBC Online, but also the news app as well. So do take a look.